Apollo 11, this is Houston, over. Apollo 11, this is Houston, affirmative. We're reading you loud and clear on voice, and we have a good, clear TV picture, a little bright crater in the, no, no, uh, no, the bottom of the uh, picture. I guess that's the spot on the tube. That's all right, that's that one. And uh, if you could give us poo and accept, we'll uplink a new state vector and target load to you. Uh, Houston, Apollo 11, uh, one of the larger uh, craters on the back side, I noticed a uh, small dark speck on the, uh, the outer wall, and I'm uh, putting a uh, monocular on it. I was able to see uh, oh, an area maybe uh, oh, a quarter of a mile in diameter with a uh, really fresh looking uh, dark colored pit. That seems to be in contrast with all the other uh, fresh uh, little craters or holes that uh, you can perceive on, uh, on the walls of any of these craters. Uh, and, uh, around this particular one, there seems to be uh, two or three of these, uh, especially the one that uh, caught my attention. It's quite remarkable. Uh, Roger, do you have a location on that one? Safe flight. Hey, we're uh, about you're, uh, 95 or 100 degrees nitrogen east, uh, coming up on okay. my sea. Still holding? Okay. Uh, say again, 11. I say again, we're about 95 degrees east, coming up on my sea. Uh, Roger, and for your information, we show you at an altitude of about 92 miles above the surface right now. Okay. I used an Apollo 11. Did you uh, observe a difference in the uh, uh, N2 uh, pressures before LOI? It, it seems to me as though uh, the two were not uh, equal in the same way that uh, uh, B tank was at a lower pressure over. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh,
I'm flying it in FDS minimum impulse, Houston, and uh, it's uh, rather difficult to keep it on a constant theta. The, the limb uh, wants to wander up and down. I'm not sure in response to mass cons or what, but uh, I can get it completely stabilized in theta and uh, let it alone, and in another couple of minutes it will have developed its own rate. This is Houston, Roger. Uh, Houston, we'll be moving shortly uh, from the side window to the uh, hatch window, and uh, we'll try and pick up some of the uh, landmines that we'll be uh, looking at as we approach uh, power descent. Over. 11, this is Houston, Roger, uh, and we're through with the uplink. Computer is yours. You can go to block, and we'll have the information on nitrogen for you uh, shortly. Over. Copy. Okay, Houston, uh, several minutes ago I was uh, exactly steady on beta, and since then uh, I have been moving toward uh, uh, the limb pointed straight down toward the radius vector, and that's been despite a number of uh, down minimum pitch impulses. Roger. Thank you. 